Josh Green here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Anise Taj here in Manchester, just a couple of nights away from fight night. We saw in the in the face-offs that people are starting to get a little bit touchy. Are you looking forward to it in a couple of nights? Oh, of course I am. I'm enjoying it. Um, all this touchiness, all this, you know, getting a little bit itchy, you know, antsy for hands. I don't feel any of that. I'm smiling, I'm laughing my way through it, but it's that, it's that thing where I'm accustomed to this. I'm used to these sort of... Not so much live on Sky Sports. I think that might be also something that's, play, that's playing a part. It's, but it's that not feeling that pressure of uh, where we are. For me, it's you know, it's just another day in the office. The, being relaxed, it must play a huge part leading up to a fight. When do the nerves start to kick in? It depends on when and how the person is. For myself, when I'm stepping through those ropes, that's when I'm probably at my most nervous, but also at my most powerful. I step through those ropes, it's anything can happen. And now it's down to me and the other bloke. There's nothing else that can happen. There's no injuries, no, you know, I'm walking in all healthy. I've gone in. There's nothing else that I can wait for other than hitting that person in the face. 100%. When the draw came out, I mean, what was your immediate reaction to, to getting that draw? And obviously you'll be confident you can beat anybody in this tournament. I wasn't really worried about the draw. As soon as they started pulling names out, I was just hoping. I'm there like waiting for my for my, my cue to get up and, and go, go and pose. So I was happy and I still am. If they want to change the draw now and put me in with someone else, I don't mind. I'll fight anyone. I think that's part and parcel of the game where, especially in a tournament like this, where you're going to be fighting someone. doesn't matter who, it, it's the luck of the draw and it's on how you perceive it. For myself, it's a good draw. Some might see it as a good one. Some might see it as a bad one. I don't know. It all depends on perspective. For me, Anyone that I would have been drawn against would have been a good draw. 100%. You mentioned up there about Joe Joyce and being able to get rounds with him. And is there anybody better to learn from than somebody right, at that, right on that world stage? You know what? I don't think so, especially with what I was there to do. I was there to do a job to be like... Um, oh, I forgot his name now. Um, Takam, sorry, Carlos Takam. I, I, was there to, I was there to imitate Carlos Takam, which is what my build is, but the only difference was when I sparred Joyce, I'd just come off COVID, I'd just come off a fight as well, so I hadn't put any weight on. I was sparring Joe Joyce weighing 110, 115 kilos, and I was weighing 92. So, and with, with what I, I, I did in that, with how I showed up, I'm not going to say specifics about what happened. All I know is I was in there with Olympic silver medalist, we, we all know that he should have got the gold medal, but um, I was in there with an Olympic champion from what I perceive, and I showed that I belong there. And how much confidence does it give you that someone like Joe Joyce, you say, fighting at the level that he has and will continue to do so, how much confidence does it give you that he wants you in that camp as part of his preparations? It, it gives me a lot of confidence. Um, I've been involved in, in, a, in a few fight camps where I've helped sparring. I've helped Tom Little for Alan Babich, which actually I believe will help me more for this because the Alan Babich style is non-stop work. Babich throws 100, 100 plus uh, shots around and that's exactly what I had, to, I had to do. And not only that, I had to throw him with that sort of power that Babich will throw him at. So having that in my locker, seeing on whether I will bring it out or not it all depends on, on what I see in that first minute if I bring it out, perfect, if I don't okay, well what we're going to see Saturday night is a mix of all sorts of styles I might spend a minute boxing, might spend a minute like Babich, I might spend a minute like Smoking Joe, who knows Tell you what, if people see the, uh, the style of Alan Babich in that, uh, in that ring on Saturday night, they're going to be coming home pretty happy aren't they No, exactly, that's it and, and that's, that's what his style is about, it's about showing the fans what they want to see, they want to see his terror they're, they're not there for 12 round decisions you know, it's, it's why Mayweather got a lot of hate in his money Mayweather days because he wasn't there trying to take people out he was there making his money showing him he was levels above the opponent but everyone loves watching someone smacking someone else in the face and going out for the kill it's, it's a sport that we're in it's pugilism it's the art of being brutal but also being beautiful 100% I like to hear it thank you very much for your time Nice, really appreciate it thank you have a good one